everyone and welcome to Human Resource Machine. This game is probably going to look kind of familiar to you and the reason for that is that it was created by the people who made Little Inferno. It's a very different game though. It's not uh, it's not about burning things obviously. It's a mathematical problem solving game where you deal with human resources I suppose. No idea. A lot of people have been asking me to play it and since it's by the same people who made um, you know, Little Inferno. I'm assuming it's going to be an interesting game. Lots of, uh, you know, humor in there and stuff. So, anyway. Yes. Please select your employee ID. I already did this. I didn't play it. I just, you know, selected an ID. So, this is me. Look at me. Aren't I beautiful? Okay. Welcome, employees. Do I just press on a button? Oh. Okay. So, this is the levels. Oh. All right. Looks like there might be a lot of them. Great. In program, congratulations is at the top. Well, I guess we'll start with, uh... The mailroom. Okay. Year one. I don't know how long this is going to take. Welcome to your first day. Dude, I don't even have an idea what's going on here, so uh, you better fill me in. You look like an excellent instruction follower. Well, you got that one wrong, that's for sure. Your first job will, be, will appear over there on the right side in a moment. Remember, you can always ask me for help. I may have to do that. Okay. Drag commands into this area to build a program. Your program should tell your worker to grab each thing from the inbox and drop it into the outbox. What? You can put together a list of commands over there on the right side, then press the big green play button to watch that happen. What? What will happen? Office life truly is unpredictable. Full of surprises, I've been here for 24 years. Yes, thank you. One day you can be just like me. But for now, back to work. Alright, man. Alright, I get it. So, oh, so we drag this in. So inbox, there we go. Whenever you run your pro, you can run your program whenever you're ready. So press play. He goes to the inbox. Not enough stuff in the outbox management. Expected a total of three items, not zero. Step back and debug. Okay, we gotta stop this. We gotta put the outbox there then. Step two is to bring it to the outbox. Inbox, outbox. Not enough stuff in the outbox. Okay, well, stop. In that case, we gotta do that several times. So we just gotta do inbox, outbox, inbox, outbox. A bunch of times and you can also copy and paste so I don't know how the copy and paste works your program is down the clipboard try pasting into other rooms or emails or notepad or anywhere possibilities are endless so if I press paste yes nothing happens okay cool well let's run our program now look at this he's gonna grab that he's gonna bring it over there he's gonna go back for another one twice and then we're gonna be done good job buddy you did a great job today using my program it's the noises that they make in Little Inferno. Your presence is requested on the next floor. All right, beautiful glasses there, lady. I'm gonna hop into the elevator and I'll be on my way. Woo! All right, busy mail rooms. This is a bit different, guys. I got some more stuff I gotta do here. It's year two. Took me an entire year to get promoted. Well, looks like you've made it this far. Congratulations on your promotion. Most people stress out and quit before making it this far, but I can tell you have a bright future in inbox slash outbox management. Here's your new assignment. Okay, why is there a jump? So inbox, jump, outbox. Wait, what? Jump. What? Oh! Oh, I get it. So now you can do a jump function uh, where it does the first one and the second one and then moves you back so you can do it again. So this should be a loop now, right? Let's see if it's a loop now. He goes to that one, he goes to that one, and he jumps back to inbox again. Wow, that is cool. Okay. Now we just gotta speed up time. Zoom! Look at you go, buddy. Doing all those letters. You are fantastic. Hmm. Busy mailroom. Year two. Cleared! Now we're on the copy floor. Okay. This is probably gonna get kinda complicated now, guys. Oh no! The inbox conveyor system is completely broken! But that doesn't mean we, we get to take a break from work. Oh no. Now we have to do other things. Ignore the inbox for now and just send the following three letters to the outbox. B-U-G. Okay, the facilities management staff has placed some items over there on the carpet for you. If only there were a way you could pick them up. Copy from here. So we gotta go B. So we're gonna copy that and we're gonna bring it to the outbox. Then we're gonna copy again and we're gonna use U. And then we're gonna copy again and we're going to use, um, oh, hang on, we gotta bring it to the outbox first. Go to the outbox, then copy from, and then we're gonna put this last one, um, G, right? B-U-G? Yep. And then we just gotta do outbox, we should be done. All right, go. I said go. There. Grab three of those. Done. Do we move on? Are we done? Yes, we are. That is year three complete. Holy crap, we're good at this. <laughs> 
This one is the Scrambler Handler. Ooh, that's a fancy name, guys. Who knows what's gonna happen here? Scrambler Handler. The conveyor system is fixed and just in time for you to get to work. The data won't collate itself. Okay, grab the first two things from the inbox and drop them into the outbox in the reverse order. So I think what this is saying, guys, is you need to take number two and you need to put that one in first. So the only way we can do that is if we go inbox and then copy it to the floor and copy it to zero and then um, we go inbox again and then we go to the outbox of that one and then we go back to the uh, floor we got to copy from and then copy zero again and then put that in the outbox and then jump all the way from the back to the front again. Let me try that. I think that's what we got to do. Take that one, put it there, okay, throw it away. Then take that one in, that's number two first, then you do number one, boom, like that, and then you go back and you do your Z, oh shit. No, that's, a big, that's not, a, not a big deal at all, I thought it was a problem, but it's not, you're just gonna replace it. B goes in, then Z, and then six, and then three. Perfect! Man, oh man, that is year four complete. Woo! And now on to coffee time. Finally, we get to have a coffee break, man. It's been four years, and I'm just really dying for some coffee. Let's do it. Oh, okay, we're actually in like a break room. Hello, ladies. <laughs> Back to work, everyone. <laughs> What's this? Something's happening. Of course there's issues. There's always issues, isn't there? When we played Little Inferno, all kinds of shit was happening, the place is getting cold, and now we got power outages. Okay, time for a rainy summer. We got a, we got a career milestone already, guys. Career milestone number one. This is actually a game I kind of understand. I'm not sure how I managed to get to year six already. I mean, it's not super, uh, super hard to do, but it can be a little bit complicated if you don't understand the whole process here, but I got it. Ugh. Welcome to my personal rain cloud. I was never very good at math, since I only have three fingers on each hand. But I hear you don't actually need to know very much about math to complete these assignments. Hmm. For each two things in the inbox, add them together and put the result in the outbox. Oh, so now you can add. So now we gotta go inbox. We gotta copy to the floor maybe, and then add to it. So inbox, copy to uh, zero, and then uh, inbox, and we gotta add that one to zero as well. And then we have to copy from zero right here through the outbox, and then we have to jump all the way back to the beginning again. Let me try that, let's see how it goes. Four goes in there, okay? Then you copy five on the four and combine them. Now we got nine, boom. What you, bip, 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 bip. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I did it wrong. I did it wrong, let me, let me, let me go back. Wait, we got a slight error here, let's, let's stop. What I meant to do is I meant to go inbox, copy to, inbox, add, and then we don't need to copy from, we just go like that. Um, yeah, it's gone, okay, it's gone, so now, He's gonna grab one, put it there, and gonna grab nine, combine them, and then walk over there and put it in. Oh, okay, so then he's gonna do the same thing. Seven plus zero is seven, and then that one, and then that one, and whoop, we're done. Imagine that. Oh, and now we get to choose what side we wanna go on, guys. I don't know what this means. All of these seem to be kinda easy, but then there's also the exterminator. What the hell is that thing? Let's try tripler room for now, I guess. Just to see what that is, and then maybe we'll go on to Zero Exterminator after that one. Because I don't know what path is the best path to choose here, you know what I mean? Alright, here comes the Tripler Room. Who are you? This optional area is for high-performing employees only. Is that you? Well, you're late. Seven years late. We need to make some changes around here. I want to see 100% performance increase. From this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. Okay, for each thing in the inbox, triple it. And outbox the result. That's not, that's not very easy to do, guys. We gotta do something a little bit different here. What we gotta do is we gotta take one, we gotta put it onto the zero slot, then we need to um, copy from that and combine. We're gonna need to do another, so, okay, so we gotta put one on the zero, and then we need to copy it onto one, and then we need to combine one and zero, and then one and zero again, and then we'll have a triple, right? Okay, so inbox goes to the first category, and then we copy it from the first one, and we copy to the second one, and then we have to copy from the second one, and add it to, this is complicated, add it to the first one, 
and then copy from the second one again and then add it to oh shit nope nope oh get rid of that rid of that copy from the second one here all right from that one and then add it to the first one and then outbox it and then jump right back to the beginning again and see what happens here okay let's see so he's gonna take one he's gonna put one right here then he's gonna put it here as well and he's gonna pick it up and add it to that and he's gonna pick it up and add it to there nope that didn't work all right I don't understand the uh, I don't understand the uh, process here but I think I think I, I think I got it after we add them guys we need to copy it to the first one so just go there to that and that should work so now he's gonna pick it up and lay it down in two spots then he's gonna combine them together here and then he's gonna add it down here and he's gonna grab that one and add it there as well it's tripled and it goes to the out and we're done look at that speed that up along minus 15 18 and 0 got it okay so this is the this is the section where it's a little bit harder I think that's why it's an optional area something like that size challenge use six or fewer commands okay so you're gonna give me one of those things I had to use 11 commands for that so there's easier ways to do that guys and we got to figure them out but not not now okay we're gonna go to the elevator and we're gonna try one of the blue levels I don't know what it means but it sounds cool to me where do you see yourself in five years or ten years I have a note here from your other boss that says from this point on your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny what a treat okay so now things that are not zero to the outbox we got a new command jump if it's zero okay that's easy inbox um and then jump if it's zero back here and then go to the outbox that should be it go so you take that one that one's no big deal that goes to the out not enough stuff in the outbox oh I'm sorry I'm sorry and then jump back again to the beginning there that one goes to the outbox he should skip the zero and then keep going again right this one's zero eh, screw it and put the other one there speed that up and it's gonna work fine it's been sorted this is cool guys this is a cool game I was not expecting this game to be that cool but it is and this is where the challenges start okay so I use the exact challenge I needed to and I use the exact speed I needed to because that's that's the only way you can do it in this one all right these challenges can be very difficult and in many cases not possible to optimize both simultaneously with one solution all right I'll keep that in mind the zero preservation initiative it has come to our attention that the zero advocacy community felt the previous assignment was not inclusive this time send only the zeros to the outbox what happens to the other numbers and letters management leaves that detail up to you okay so in this case we jump if it's zero so inbox um and then we basically uh jump if it's zero past this so then what we get what we do is we just um we go to inbox again so if it's zero we actually do a jump is that gonna work okay so if we want to send only zeros we have an inbox we jump if it's zero to the outbox and send it but we have to go to the inbox again if it's ze but then we got to jump so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to, to jump this one back around the other one so that way we can jump again if it's zero to the outbox to to the imp what let's just see what happens here because this is weird now okay so I threw it away put that one there minus four is not a zero throw it away C is not a zero throw it away take a zero okay it's working it's working I didn't think it was gonna work but it's working so inbox to outbox and if not it goes back to the inbox again jumps over there and keeps going I almost feel like I screwed it up but I don't think I did because it totally worked fine let's just let's just see how we do on the challenge here okay five or fewer I use six sorry speed challenge I use 28 so there's one of my things that needed to be fixed basically but I don't care let's go back here and let's try the octoplier sweet okay that's what happens if you mix markiplier with an octopus I'd like to see that octoplier sweet yes you can always check your own performance on each assignments optimization challenges the two green lights next to each button in the elevator will tell you how you're doing is there anything in life more thrilling than self-improvement I don't know man is there for each thing in the inbox multiply it by eight and put the result in the outbox using a bunch of ad commands is easy but wasteful can you do it using only three ad commands management is watching three ad commands Ooh! oh I know what we can do here we can double it so uh, we need to make multiply by eight so then you just basically combine it and then add and then combine hmm that should work I think we got this 
All right, this one looks a little bit more confusing, but it's pretty simple. You take it out, you lay it down, you pick it up, you double it, you pick it up, you double it, you pick it up, you double it. So if you take uh, one and double it, you get two, double it again, you get four, double it again, you get eight. So we should have it multiplied by eight after this. Let's see. Ten? Nope, screwed that up. Okay, we gotta try again. The only problem we had, guys, is once he picked up the number and doubled it, he didn't lay it back down again, so he just ignored that number and went back to the uh, the original number. But this time, he should lay it down. So five goes here. He picks it up and doubles it. He lays that one down, picks that up and doubles it. Get 20, lay that down, pick it up, double it again. You get 40, and then you're going to put it out there. Five times eight is 40, so we did it. Okay, that one should be minus 40, I think. Yeah, minus 40, and then that one should be 16. And then that's zero. Did it. I don't know if we did that in the right amount of commands or not, guys. I don't know if there's an easier way to do that. Okay, I used 12 commands. That's too many. I can fix this. I promise. I think I got it this time, guys. The problem was we were using copy from when we didn't need to because we were actually adding them together. So they're the right amount once we copy it down. And then we don't need to copy from it again. We can just add that number to it again, I think. Let's see how this works, okay? It's a little bit confusing. And I understand if you guys... Might not be able to follow it that well because it is a bit more complicated on the techie side here. But let's just see, okay? He's going to come down and put that there. Then he's going to combine them together. And then he's going to combine them together. And then he's going to combine them together. And then he's going to be done. Okay, see that was way less steps this time. Good, so if we speed that up, we should probably do the challenge, I think. Mm. Yeah, there you go. And... There you go. We got it, guys. We got it. So, that is um, Human Resource Machine. Uh, like I said, it's a it's a very different game from Little Inferno. It involves a lot of using your head and things like that. But I think it's kind of cool. I don't know what you guys think of it, but you can always let me know down below. If you want to see more of this, you know, just, just let me know. I'm not sure it could go either way. It is a cool game, but at the same time, it's not the kind of game I usually play on the channel. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.